I'm around still now because I'm there for my mother to my father. So and when I go to my father, you know, I kind of get the bad treatment. Young man like you, in a your age group, what are you going to tell them about prison uh, and the whole thing? Stay far from it, General. Stay far. Get me off of this train and get a whole away from it. Into custody. That's suspicious. From Rabbi. My father didn't kill you, but I look a boy and my mother, you know. I'll shot me get on start. Anything can when they take up gun and them thing they are short paper and them thing that we are run from. So you ever try to get a work or anything like that? Yeah, I try but so I have the, the, the necessary like TRN and ID, national ID and them thing that uh, come like I kinda get a stagnant from there. So. How many times do you eat for the day? Sometimes one. Yeah, sometimes none at all. Sometimes none at all? Yeah. People give money and food and them stuff there apart from the package where you said them give them. Some, people ever just stop by and give money or food or anything some, like that? Sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. Once in a blue moon, we see that thing. Yeah. They would just stop by without you have to ask. Yeah. Mm. I can know a man like you will pass and see the needs. So some yeah. people will pass and say, they right. can't do nothing big, but. So, I can do. so like if a hurricane comes in, if a hurricane come or rain start fall, you know the other day a storm threat and them thing there. Which part you which part you shelter? Do you have a shelter where you go to or something? Right. I don't really have no shelter because the shelter where you just did it, it kind of from COVID, it kind of get dismantled. Just stay in the streets that you stand past. As a child growing up, what was it like? It kind of, it kind of rough still, no, because I'm there from my mother to my father, so. When I go to my father, you know, I kind of get the bad treatment. From who? My father. From your father? And so come I have to run up from him and come in the street. You know. So at what age you run up from your father? I run. Seven. So young? Come do what? Like where you could have done at seven years old? I couldn't do nothing but I just uh, experience the street, meet friends in the street, know the street, them and mm. uh, so so. As I mentioned, it kind of paved me up back in the long run because two people know me from them time there. Yeah. Kind of see me, they really trouble me. Your mother and your father, did they around and help you out as a child growing up? Then they did it once, but after the running up and down and they kind of they give up on me still. A whole heap of trouble me getting and ups and down, mother have to come visit me and them things. So she kind of they give up on me and say, boy, I eat that. Can't do no more. So when them give up on you, what do you do after? What I do after? I come in the street and kind of did that make life. After a while, it gets kind of stuck, man. I fall in love with the streets, the streets that love nobody. So, when you did small, you ever think your life is going to end up like this right no, now? No, no time. So, what was your goal? Like, your, your, the goal is as, a, cheer, as a young youth growing up. The cheer them, I see my father with me, I always want to turn out in the tree, mm -hmm. but. I think what kind of trade that is? As a, as a mechanic. Oh, a mechanic? Yeah. yeah. Time and time go by and we move from where my father there and come back in the street. I 
Bangladesh and Makaina I lose up so that's kinda easy but I have, have no circuit to keep nothing in a mechanic so I don't just like yeah. apprentice, I don't just work like apprentice when a man wants a tool or he wants a size socket I don't reach it for him and you know, mostly yeah. scrap thing. Anything you have when you want to pull up, mostly that. You kind of lose. Oh, yeah. What about school? Did you go to school? 